Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I am super excited about today's cake recipe. This is one I've been planning for a few weeks now and I just wanted to come up with something new and exciting and epic for the holiday season. I know you guys will enjoy. I'll be making my chocolate bird's milk cake with sponge cake layers on the inside and a pomegranate jelly center. Now bird's milk is Kind of funny sounding name, but it's actually just a Russian meringue. It's kind of between a meringue and a marshmallow. It's the perfect like kind of mousse layer on the outside. Then we'll be using my sponge cake on the inside along with a pomegranate jelly. Now for the sponge cake, I've already prepared it in a six inch pan. I'm using my basic sponge cake recipe for this. I'll include it down in the video description box below. Meanwhile, let's get started on that pomegranate jelly center. I'm going to set this jelly in the same six inch pan that I used for the sponge cake layer. Just wash it out and then align the bottom and the sides with plastic. Into a small saucepan, I'm going to add in two cups of pure pomegranate juice. Now, pomegranate juice is not exactly sweet, so to sweeten it up, I'm going to add in half a cup of white granulated sugar. And then to allow this jelly to set, I'll be using agar gelatin. It's a plant-based gelatin and it sets uh, much firmer than just regular gelatin. I'm going to add two tablespoons of this. You can also find this product in my shop on my blog. Give that all a whisk and then bring this up to a simmer. And bring this mixture up to a boil and as you're cooking it, you'll notice it'll start to thicken significantly. So once it comes to a boil, that means the sugar is all dissolved and it's good to go. Just take it off the heat. Just pour that into the prepared pan. I'm just gonna set this into the refrigerator to set up completely. And because we use agar gelatin for the jelly layer, it sets fairly quickly. It should be done in about 20 minutes. Once it's done, you could just use that plastic to just gently lift it out of the pan. And then we can just start assembling the center part of the cake. To assemble the cake, I'll be using a nine inch spring form pan. For the center, all I need is the bottom platform. I've sliced my sponge cake layer into four equal layers. I'm going to place the first layer into the center of the pan. I'm gonna grab um, my syrup. Today I'm just using some pomegranate liqueur. You can also use pomegranate juice to soak the layers. And then gently transfer the pomegranate jelly layer on top, just like that. And add another sponge cake layer on top. For my chocolate bird's milk mousse, I'm going to start things out with my chocolate base first. In my mixing bowl here, I have one cup of unsalted butter. To that, I'm going to add in half a cup of dark chocolate chips that I've melted in the microwave. Pour in one cup of sweetened condensed milk. Add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And then use my hand mixer to cream this all together. You want to mix it for about two to three minutes until it's creamy and smooth. On to the next step, the meringue. So first I'm going to prepare a simple syrup with agar gelatin into a small saucepan. I'm going to add in half a cup of water and two tablespoons of agar gelatin. And again, it's just going to set a lot firmer than regular gelatin and it's going to set up much faster too. And as this mixture cooks and begins to simmer, it's going to thicken significantly. And now I'm going to start adding my two cups of sugar. I'm going to add it in a little bit at a time and just let that sugar get absorbed into the syrup after each addition. And once you've added all the sugar, just keep cooking this over about a medium high heat and allow it to come to simmer. Once it comes to a boil, you want it to boil for exactly two minutes. While my syrup is cooking, I'm going to get started on my egg whites. I'm going to place six large egg whites into my mixing bowl and then whisk them on high speed for a couple minutes just until soft peaks form. And as soon as your syrup is done, you're ready to pour it into the egg whites. Turn the mixer up onto medium speed and slowly pour that hot syrup right into the egg whites. and then increase your mixer speed to high and whisk for about six to seven minutes until the egg whites start to cool. And then it's time to add in that chocolate base that we prepared earlier. Just drop that into the egg whites. And also add in two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then whisk this all together for a few more minutes. 
and then you're ready to pour that meringue and you want to work quickly because it does set fairly quickly starts to set up almost immediately so while it's still liquid you want to just pour that into the sides of the cake and then grab an offset spatula and level off the top and then this is ready to go into the refrigerator let this chill for about an hour it should set up fairly quickly because of the agar gelatin and we'll be ready to finish it off with our chocolate glaze while my cake is setting I'm going to work on my chocolate glaze I've measured out one and a half cups of dark chocolate chips going to add in half a cup of milk and then a tablespoon of shortening and then I'm going to take this over to the microwave and heat it in 30 second intervals until this mixture is completely smooth and once your cake is completely chilled you want to gently transfer it out of the springform pan onto a wire rack and I like to place it over a baking sheet that'll catch all the extra chocolate and then pour that chocolate glaze over the top I'm going to let this cake set on the wire rack for about 10 minutes and while it's setting I'm going to garnish the top. I've melted some white chocolate. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of that over the top. Add some pomegranate pieces. And now let's cut into this cake and see what it looks like on the inside. Just grab a sharp knife. And check this out, guys. Wow, this has to be one of the most beautiful cakes I've ever made. Absolutely love that pomegranate jelly center. And check out that chocolate mousse. This is going to be an epic cake. This cake is a true stunning masterpiece. It looks like a piece of artwork you would take like from a cake museum or something. It's almost too pretty to eat, but I've been dying to try what it tastes like on the inside. Time to give this a try. I've got a little bit of that pomegranate jelly, some of that chocolate mousse. Mmm. Wow, this cake is truly divine. I think if gods are eating cake, this is the cake that they would eat. Let me tell you, the flavors here are simply incredible. Today, probably one of my favorite cakes ever, hands down. That chocolate mousse or the chocolate bird's milk literally melts in your mouth. It is the silkiest, smoothest mousse you will ever have, and it goes so well with that tangy pomegranate jelly on the inside. And you have those sponge cake layers that have soaked up that pomegranate liqueur, and I love that chocolate glaze on top. If you are looking for an epic show-stopping cake to be serving out this holiday season, this is the one for you. Head down into my video description box where you'll find a link for the full recipe, including a recipe with metric measurements for those of you guys that are outside of the United States. I hope you guys enjoy this cake all holiday season long because I know I'll be making it many, many times. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.